Despite the shocking example of rough justice meted out under the name of Sharia law, a recent convert to Islam was set upon by fellow Muslims who took the law into their own hands and flogged him with a cord 40 times, apparently for drinking alcohol. Now the incident has shocked everyone, other Muslims included. David Richardson has more. Sharia law executed Australian style. Four Muslim men burst into the bedroom of a newly converted Islamic brother and meet out their own form of punishment from Sharia law. In this home invasion, three men held down their victim while a fourth meted out his form of punishment. This might be a reenactment, but the actual home invasion happened here in Australia, in a suburb of Sydney, just two nights ago. The crime, the man drank alcohol, prohibited under Sharia law, the punishment being whipped with an electrical cord 40 times. Although there's no proven link, perhaps the men took a page out of this radical extremist's playbook. We will lead Australia into a golden age, inshallah. His name is Ibrahim Siddiq Conlon, born Shannon Conlon, a former Catholic from Adelaide, now the founder and self-appointed leader of an extremist Muslim party called Sharia for Australia. He prophesizes the rise of Sharia dominance, the fall of the Australian government and his ascension to the highest office in the land, a land ruled by Sharia law. Whether you like it or not, it is inevitable. Every society has its... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, well, I, I hasten to be, I, I regret to say idiots, but I think that that's the situation. There's always a few people who will get very strange ideas and who are quite happy to expound them in public, even though they have no authority and they're not entitled to speak on behalf of the community. Jamila Hussain is an author and senior lecturer in Sharia law at the University of Technology in Sydney. She's also a convert to Islam herself and condemns the whipping of a fellow Muslim. Should these men have done what they did? No, they should not. Muslims who live in a non-Muslim country are bound to obey the law of the land. So in that case, that's Australian law, which applies, not Sharia. So far in Australia, Muslims have asked for Sharia law to be introduced to deal with marriage disputes and some counselling services, but that's it. Muslims maintain they don't want Sharia law brought here for anything else. Even in Islamic law, in an Islamic state, that's not necessarily the punishment. There's a process. It's a judicial proce uh, process. Um, and in, in Islamic state, you're, you are innocent, absolutely, until... Uh, and, uh, an Islamic court does find you guilty and it's very hard to do so um, and we're not in an Islamic state um, and you know some of that shouldn't have happened. Dia Muhammad is the organiser of Islamic group My Peace. Angry vigilantes have taken the law into their own hands. I've been on the phone and spoken to a lot of the Islamic leaders and 